So I did a podcast with Rob Lipset today and he said something really astounding about when a man finds his true north, then he will truly feel satisfied and he'll want to work. He'll be addicted to his work, in fact. And that's how I feel at the moment. I mean, now that I've found my mission in this life to help men improve their lives, to help men get involved in fitness, build their bodies, be confident with women, start businesses they've always wanted to start, get over their fear. Once you have that kind of mission in life, it just supersedes everything else. It just supersedes anything else I've ever tried to do or even wanted to do. Because for so many years, I was starting businesses that didn't succeed, actually. I mean, the last business that popped was five years ago. That made me enough money to live for a lifetime. But since then, nothing's really exploded. And it was because I was trying things that I didn't really want to do, to be completely honest. I was doing businesses that I wasn't interested in. I wouldn't be able to focus. I didn't want to look at marketing campaigns all day long. That shit is boring. And so eventually, when I found this path and when God decided to push me down this path by making sure other things didn't work for me, then I realized that I should put all my focus into this. And I realized that this is my true mission. Helping men improve their lives is my actual mission in life. It was never to be an investment banker. It was never to start a crypto hedge fund. It was never to build marketing campaigns to random bullshit products that I didn't really care about. It was never to do any of that stuff. It was always to build this business. I was always led down this path to help you mofos learn about what's actually, what business you should be starting, how you get promoted in your careers, how you get the girl of your dreams, how you get the body of your dreams, how you start buying nice things, how you retire your parents. That stuff's way more interesting to me than digital marketing campaigns, which I still have to look through when, when I end up running ads or when I end up doing marketing for this business. But, you know, ultimately, I just now know that, and I knew it while I was walking through the mall today. As I was walking through the mall, I, was literally, I literally felt guilty that I wasn't working. I literally felt guilty that I wasn't making content. I wasn't posting it. I wasn't moving my mission forward because I was like, what, what am I doing just wandering around the mall right now? I've got nothing to buy. I've got nothing to do in this mall. So I sat down in a coffee shop and I just started uploading videos while I was in the mall and I felt better again. I felt like, oh, I'm back on my path again. I'm back to my true north. Whether as, you know, when now, when I waste time now, when I go out, I feel like, I feel like I'm missing out on the opportunity to push the message out there to, to you people. And so that's what happens when you find your true path in this life, my friends. When you find it, You'll stick to it. You'll, you'll find that you love what you do. You'll find you'll become addicted. And the reason why you've quit and not worked and not succeeded in the things that you're doing is because you don't enjoy them. You don't love them. You're not very good at them, perhaps. And also, I think there's a very big difference between passion and what you're good at. Okay, So you, there's many things that you're passionate about, but what are you actually good at? That's the key, and that's what you should be doing. You should be doing the things that you're actually good at, not the things that you're passionate about because you could be passionate about singing, but you could be a terrible singer. So actually, if it turns out that you're a really good public speaker, or you're a really good pianist, or you're a really good ballet dancer, or you're, it could be anything, by the way. It could be sticking plastic figures together to make heart shapes. I don't care what it is, right? Whatever it is, you've got to find out what you're actually good at doing, and you need to progress with that. Because once you see that you're making progress, once you see that you're good at something, once you start getting validation from the outside world, which gives validation to yourself that this is the right path, you're doing the right thing, keep going. And other people, and you put yourself out there in the world, then you'll see that you'll start getting responses, you'll start getting messages from other people trying to help you. And that's when you know you'll be on your path. And before then, you'll be a bit lost like I was. Even though I became successful in business, I was still lost still not knowing what really to do, traveling around the world and drinking alcohol and taking drugs and smoking weed and sleeping with women. And you think that's fun, but do you know what? It wears off, the novelty really wears off. Now what's fun is, is building my purpose, knowing my mission. This is my mission as a man. This is what I'm supposed to be doing every single day. When I'm not doing it, I, I literally feel guilty. How crazy is that? Right, I'll keep this video a nice five minutes, nice and short. 
Hope you learned something from this. I'm going to document my journey along the way, along the journey to success, because I know I'm going to be successful. It's just a matter of when, but I'm going to post my whole journey along this ride on YouTube, hoping that you guys are listening. And also you'll probably feel the same way if you're on your journey too, but I just want you to start. I just want you to get moving and I'll help you identify what it is that you should be doing. Peace.